What is animism? The term animism is an anthropological construct used to identify common threads of spirituality between different systems of beliefs. But broadly construed, animism is the belief that all things, both animate and inanimate, including people, animals, geographic features, natural phenomenon, and inanimate objects, possess a spirit that connects them to one another. So, instead of viewing man as the dominant being of creation, the animist sees himself and everything else as on an equal playing field, totally interrelated with every other person or object, and constantly battling for supremacy in life, every soul for itself. First coined in 1871 by Sir Edward Burnett Tyler, animism is a key feature in many ancient religions, especially of indigenous tribal cultures. In fact, Animism is a foundational element in the development of ancient human spirituality, and it can be identified in different forms throughout major modern world religions. It is often used to illustrate contrasts between ancient beliefs and modern organized religion. However, it must be noted that in most cases, animism is not considered to be a religion in its own right, but rather a feature of various practices and beliefs. Brief Origin of Animism As already mentioned, animism is a key feature of both ancient and modern spiritual practices, but it wasn't given its modern definition until the late 1800s. Historians believe that animism is foundational to the human spirituality, dating back to the Paleolithic period and the hominids that existed at that time. Historically, Attempts have been made to define the human spiritual experience by philosophers and religious leaders. Around 400 BC, Pythagoras discussed connection and union between the individual soul and the divine soul, indicating a belief in an overarching soulness of humans and objects. He is thought to have enhanced these beliefs while studying with ancient Egyptians, whose reverence for life in nature and personification of death indicates strong animism beliefs. In relative parlance, the ancient Greek philosopher, Plato, identified a three-part soul in both individuals and cities in his famous work, The Republic, published around 380 BC, while another famous ancient Greek philosopher, Aristotle, defined living things as the things that possess a spirit in his work titled, On the Soul, published in 350 BC. The idea of an animus mundi, or a world soul, is derived from these ancient philosophers, and it was the subject of philosophical, and later, scientific thought for centuries before being clearly defined in the later 19th century. Though many thinkers thought to identify the connection between natural and supernatural worlds, the modern definition of animism was not coined until 1871, again, when Sir Edward Burnett Tyler used it in his book, Primitive Culture to define the oldest religious practices.